So I entered uncharted territory in the dugout during a game with a VR-180 camera. I spotted the Clippers photographer, and I figured I'd just stay near him and out of his way. And then I got gutsy. Until the manager let me know I was in a spot. I guess it proves I had a good eye for location. I now started paying closer attention to the game, and we had a good one going on. Now you just hope you can capture something special. Home run from the dugout. However, in the eighth, our pitcher gave up a devastating five runs. And it was the first time I felt uneasy in the dugout. The pitcher stands alone in these situations. And the symbolism of the entire team with their back to you really hits home. Now they weren't able to pull off anything in the eighth and it got awfully quiet. By the bottom of the ninth, half the crowd had left, and it seemed only the coaching staff still believed. And that's not how you want to start.
With that second out, the crowd that was left saw the writing on the wall. But the chance of an unintentional walk woke him up. And suddenly we're one runner away from loaded bases. And even Toledo started to get concerned and took out their pitcher. And with that, the fairy tale moment arrives. Down four, bases loaded, with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, and a guy walking up to bat who hasn't had a hit all night. Tenth, with the Clippers down one, a man on third, and one out.
fucking game. Good work. Wouldn't you know, a couple weeks after bringing in the winning run, guess who got called back up to the majors? So what do you think? My family sure loved the game. But I wouldn't give to see more sports stories and even live games in this capacity. And if you've watched this long, you agree. So talk about this to anyone who will listen. Write about this to anyone who will read and let people know what's possible. The actual feeling of not just spectating, but being there. Please check out my other VR logs and subscribe and comment. It means the world to me.